all right good morning out there hope everyone's having a good start to their weekend on this Friday it's uh, February 22nd it's actually my dad's birthday I gotta remember to give him a call so real quick I wanted to make a video about something that I learned most recently going through the process of getting set up uh, as a hot truck as a hot shot driver or hot shot hot shot truck driver so the one thing I learned most recently was when it comes to derating trailers or just derating gross things called gross vehicle weight ratings in general what that actually means and at least my understanding of it um, yeah based on conversations and reading and all that good stuff so that's what I want to get into this time so vehicle weight ratings gross vehicle weight ratings I'll just do a quick what I understand about that and if anything I say it's way off apologize in advance I'm new to all of this so and if you have any insight to share feel free to you know leave any information you can to help everyone else that might have the same questions or might be just as confused about this stuff as I am so gross vehicle weight ratings from what I understand all cars have it and all trailers have it uh, it's set by the manufacturer so whoever builds the thing they say what the gross vehicle weight rating is um, with trailers it has a lot to do with that the type of axles that are um, that, that how it's assembled the type of axles that that are I guess um, I guess you would say uh, built and in, built in, onto the built into the trailer whereas the cars I think is a little bit more difficult anyway Bottom line is, they come from the manufacturer with the ratings on them. So, now, why that's important as far as I understand is that that is when you get inspected or pulled over, that basically says how much you're allowed to carry, um, how much you're allowed to haul combined with your truck and your trailer. So, also has to do with what you're allowed to do from a licensing standpoint, meaning, all right, so in order to drive anything that has a gross vehicle weight rating over 26,001 pounds, you would need a CDL. Less than that, no CDL is required. So simply put, if your truck is rated, if your truck and your trailer combined rating is over that, regardless of what you're pulling, you can have totally empty trailer. If they're rated above that and you don't have a CDL, you're gonna get fined. That's my understanding of it. So the way around that, if you don't, so if you don't have a CDL, you just have to make sure that from a rating perspective, you don't go over that. Now, there's also even, there's also the, the matter of actually not going over it once you load it, but that's kind of easier and down the road. So back to the ratings. Now what the setup I'm getting ready to go with coming up is um, going with uh, Ram Dooley, and a 30 to 40 foot gooseneck flatbed. All well and good. I know I'm going under, I'm, I'm staying under 26,000 pounds. They make a lot of trailers out there that are um, rated at like 14,000 pounds, gross vehicle weight rating. And most trucks are rated around 10,000. So simply put, 10,000 pound rated truck, 14,000 pound rated trailer, you're at 24,000, no need for CDL, you're all good from that perspective. Now, where this got a little dicey for me was, the truck I'm going with, like I said, is a Ram Dooley 2019, they're rated at 14,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. So that means that I have less to play with when it comes to the rating of the trailer. Most of the trailers, like I said, out there that I was looking at, there's like a jump. They go from like 14,000 around that area, 14,000 gross vehicle weight rating. Then they jump up to like into the 20s. So I was, it was all good assuming that my truck was gonna be at like 10,000. That means I can go with a 14, a 10,000. The truck's 10,000, the trailer's 14 or 15,000. I'm still, oh, there's Mario. I'm still good. But like I said, now that the Dodge is rated 14,000, even a 14,000, so the truck's rated 14,000, but then the trailer's rated 14, I'm at 28. That's not gonna work. I'm gonna need a CDL. 
So then I started jumping around on discussion boards and emailing people and stuff like that. Come to find out you can get trailers derated. So I was like, okay, what does it exactly mean? So um, I talked to the actual the trailer. I'm, I'm working with Southern Trailers LLC to get my trailer made. And I ran it by him. And he said, basically, they make it however you want in terms of a gross vehicle weight rating. They stamp it however you want on there. So he was saying that if the truck's going to be 14,000, he was well aware that they're starting to make trucks with heavier um, or higher GV yeah gv gw gross vehicle yeah gvwrs gross vehicle weight ratings they're coming out higher so that's why there's more of a trend to get them um, derated he knew exactly what I, what I needed so he's going to rate the trailer that i'm getting at twelve thousand. that way with the truck i'll still be, i'll still be at twenty six thousand even so that was basically what i learned is that you can get your trailer derated regardless of what it's come what it's originally uh, rated at if you're getting it if you're ordering it you can get it derated meaning that the value uh, the rating will be lower than what it I guess by default is um, and I think they go by the, the axles that they put on there if they put if you have two sets of axles on there and each axle is rated at 7,000 pounds two times seven 14,000 that's like how they rate it they know they that's the max that it could be so I guess by default they set it at the max but you don't have to if you just like I said want it to get derated now um, that's huge because that keeps me where I want to be from a CDL perspective um, and it's it was it didn't cost anything it was just a matter of asking so i guess that's the tip if you're out there for anybody who's looking to get a trailer or they're looking to get started and they definitely don't want to do cdl two things to look at look at um the vehicle rate rating for the truck because they're not all ten thousand. they do change depending on which truck you get and then look at the trailer you want to get um and look at what that's rated at do that math before you even buy that stuff because you don't want to be stuck or you bought this equipment and then you know you might be forced to make a move you didn't want to when it comes to a CDL so that's all I wanted to share if anything that I said was off like I said from the very beginning I apologize I'm new to all of this but that was just my understanding and I didn't really find a video out there that jumped in just to the specifics of derating a trailer and how that plays out in terms of the overall the overall um, rating for for the truck and trailer and how that, re how that relates to the CDLs and all that stuff and how you even get it done like how I had to go through the actual dealer and get him to do it that makes me think that if I going forward if I was to buy a used truck if someone's out there buy, not a used truck a used trailer someone's out there looking to buy a used trailer I don't know that you can do that after it's already been um rated at a certain level because it's actually I think they stamp it on the trailer when you buy it so like I said this is just my understanding if anyone has any more insight onto the whole concept of derating gross vehicle weight ratings don't hesitate jump down in the comments share any information you have that's basically the only reason why I'm doing this is just in case anybody else has questions or you know they wanted just a little bit more clarity on something you know that they were fuzzy about so that's all for now thanks for uh watching the video and check you out next time see ya